kiwango alichonacho Mungu kukutamani wewe mahali pasiri to desire you to come to the sacred place ni kikubwa is so greater zaidi ya kiwango cha tamaa yako than in the level of your desire ya kurudi mahali pasiri to return back to the sacred place moja kati ya kitu unatakiwa ujue ni kwamba among the things you are supposed to know is hamna kitu Mungu anakitarajia kwako nothing that god expects from you na anakitaka kwako and so god so wishes zaidi ya mahusiano yako wewe na yeye Mungu ana shida na hizo hela zako god has no problem with your money Mungu ana shida na hicho kichwa chako kwa sababu fedha dhahabu majumba na magali jumlisha wewe na utakao wazaa you know, ni mali ya Bwana you know silver gold and you and what you have belongs to god kitu pekee ambacho Mungu anakitegemea kwako the only thing that god expects from you na pekee ambacho utampa ambacho ni cha thamani and that that will give to him that is more valuable ni utayari wa wewe kutembea naye kama ni mtumishi uliachia nafasi kama wewe ni mwimbaji na ni kiongozi wa kanisa ama ni mtu wa kanisani na ulikosea mbele za Mungu if a leader or maybe they live in the church and you are we offended god bado Mungu anakutafuta still god will look for you bado Mungu anakutaka still god want you na bado anakuhitaji na uhitaji wake juu ya maisha yako ni mkubwa zaidi ya unavyofikiri wewe unahitaji still god want you and his need for you is greater than what you can think about wanadamu wa kwanza the first man walipokosea when they fell sio wao walimtafuta not them sought god walijitengenezea sheria they created their own rules na zingine Mungu akawaongea and some of them got it lakini bado ikawa ngumu wao kumpata Mungu na kurudishwa mahali pasipo it was hard for them to come back second lakini baadaye but later Mungu akaamua kwenda kumtafuta God decided to go to mwanadamu huko alipo to seek a man where akashuka mwenyewe mzima mzima and he came himself akamleta Kristo Yesu bwana he brought Christ Jesus kwa jina la Emmanuel by the name of Emmanuel hawakuona jina jingine la kumpa there was no another name wakampa Emmanuel he was called Emmanuel yani Mungu pamoja nasi God with us Yesu anakuja kwa ajili ya nini Jesus come what for kuwarudisha watu kwenye edeni yao to bring people kuwarudisha watu kwenye mahusiano yao na Mungu relationship with God so Mungu alikuwa na mzigo na wanadamu so God did a burden with me alikuwa na mzigo na wanadamu zaidi ya wanadamu walikuwa na mzigo wao wenyewe God had more burden to for men than men had God heri ukataye sauti ya shetani so better for you to deny the voice of satan na wakati mwingine ukataye kiburi ulicho nacho sometimes to deny you are only praying kama hata nisikia that you won't hear me hata nipokea you can't receive me hata nisaidia don't help me na kuambia dhambi yako ijapokuwa nyekundu kama bendera no matter how red you ana uwezo wa kuisafisha you can clean it ikawa nyeupe kuliko sufu katika jina la Yesu white and snow hata baada ya siku si nyingi after not so many yule mdogo akagusanya vyote akasafiri kwenda nchi ya mbali Lucas sura ya 15 15 the young one took everything and went to a farm akatapanya mali zake huko kwa maisha ya uasherati so he spent his money with the life of luxury alipokuwa amekusha kutumia vyote after he spent all njaku iliingia nchi ile there was a great famine yeye naye akaanza kuhitaji started to be in need akaenda akashikamana na wenyeji so joined, mwenyeji mmoja wa nchi ile so he joined with one citizen naye alimpeleka shambani kwake kulisha nguruwe and he took him to feed the swine uwe na uhakika bishwa nje ya mahali pasiri outside the second kuna place. mahali pengine utapelekwa you take another place na sio mahali pengine tu pa, ma, pa amani not a, a place of peace nje ya mahali pasiri outside second ni mahali pa mateso na uovu kama huu is a place of torture and maandiko nasema huyu kijana alienda akatupwa This man was Kwenye shamba la kulisha nguruwe was in this farm of the swines Biblia inasema the Bible says wala hapana mtu aliyempa kitu and no one gave him anything Aha Alipozingatia moyoni mwake When he considered in his heart alisema he said ni watumishi wangapi wa baba yangu how many servants of my father wanaokula they eat mm. chakula na kusaza and so they hapa ni mahali mtu anafikiria anakumbuka ni mara ngapi Mungu alinitokea kwenye maono this is a place where someone remember how many times Mungu alinifunulia mambo makubwa ya sirini how many how many times ni mara ngapi Mungu alinionyesha pendo lake nikawa mtoto wake nikawa kanisani kabla sijazoea madhabahu kabla sijazoea watumishi wa kabla sijazoea wokovu kabla sijazoea mtu yote ni vitu vingapi ambavyo Mungu alinifunulia kwa pl- upendo wake is a place where someone remembers how many things God revealed by his life But nani watumishi wangapi wa baba yangu and how many servants my father wanaokula na kusasa they eat 
na mimi hapa ninakufa na njaa and i am here starving nitaondoka i will get up nitakwenda i'll go mungu anataka tu ufikie hii hatua so god wants to come ya kuondoka na kwenda to stand up and na ndio maana tuko kwenye safari ya siku 40 na kuambia katika jina la Yesu aliha tutaondoka na tutakwenda amen anasema nitaondoka nitakwenda kwa baba yangu i'll go to my father na kumwambia baba nimekosa juu ya mbingu i've offended you on this mbele zako and before you eh si staili kuitwa mwana wako tena i'm not worthy to be kuna mtu anahisi hastahili kuitwa mchungaji tena someone feel is not worthy to be called anaitwa anaona hastahili kuitwa askofu tena not worthy to become a pastor hastahili kuitwa mwinjilisti tena not worthy to hastahili kuitwa aliyeokoka tena not worthy anasema ninaona si staili kuitwa i'm not worthy to be called your kuna nafasi ulinipa si staili hiyo nafasi you gave me a chance but now i'm not worthy nifanye kama mmoja wa watumishi wako make me one of your servants akaondoka akaenda he left and go kwa babaye to his father nachokuonyesha utayari wa baba yake what i'm showing you readiness of the father here akiwa mbali at far baba yake alimuona the father saw him toka mbali mungu atakuona from afar god will see toka mbali mungu atakuona from afar god will see toka mbali mungu atakuona from afar god will see ataona maisha yako ataona kiu yako ataona utayari wako ataona chochote ulichokidhamiria ndani ya moyo wako maana iko anasema toka mbali from afar baba yake alimuona akamuonea huruma kumbuka god is god of mercy mungu ni mungu akamuonea huruma akaenda mbio akamwangukia shingoni akamusu sana hakutegemea kama baba yake angempokea kwa hali hii hii ni tafsiri ya wazi Mungu yuko tayari zaidi ya utayari ulionao sema mimi na kaona nielewa kitu nasema Mungu yuko tayari zaidi ya utayari ulionao than your readiness Yuko tayari. God is ready. Wala usimuonge na hela, haongeki. Don't even bribe him with kitu, money. Kitu, moja ya kitu ambacho huwezi kununua kwa Mungu, huwezi kununua toba kwa fedha. One of the things you can't buy from God, you can't buy repentance. Huwezi kumplease Mungu kwa sadaka. Huwezi kumfurahisha Mungu by your offering. Yaani umfurahishe kwa sadaka zako. Just by your offering. Pesa yako ipotelee mbali pamoja na wewe. Let your money get lost. Lakini mahali pekee Mungu anafurahishwa ni mahali mtu anaamua kurudi. The only place that Anasema nilikuwa mbali lakini narudi. I come back. Narudi kwako. I come back to you. Amen. Baba yake alipomuona. When his father saw him, akamkimbilia. He ran to him. Yeye alikuwa anakuja anatembea. He was coming walking. Lakini baba alimkimbilia. But the father ran to tayari wa Mungu. Readiness of God. About your life. Alipomuona kwa mbali. When he saw from afar, akaenda mbio. He went running. Yeye alikuwa anakuja huko anajificha ficha. He was walking. Hivi atanipokea kweli? Will he receive me? Hivi itakuwaaje? What will happen? Hivi atanisikiliza kweli? Will he listen to me? Lakini akashangaa. But he was surprised. Uso wa baba yake. The face of the father. Unaonyesha matumaini. So hope. Haijalishi mwendo unaokuja nao. Regardless of what you know promotion are coming with. Sijui ni mwendo gani. Let not mean matter what you do. I don't know what to tell you. baba yeye atakimbia. But your father will run to you. Unaona hapa? Do you see here? Maandiko yanasema baba yake akakimbia. The father ran to him. Akamkimbilia. He ran to him. Alafu akamkumbatia. And he embraced him. Akambuso sana. And he kissed him. Kwa tafsiri nyingine nimekumisi muda mrefu. I've missed you for a long time. Nimekumisi muda mrefu. I've missed you for a long time. Nilikuwa maombi yako nasikia baraka. Nimekumisi muda nilikuwa nikisikia sadaka zako nasikia baraka nimekumisi muda mrefu nilikuwa nikisikia mahubiri yako nasikia baraka hii nimekumisi muda mrefu chote na mahali pasipo Sijua unaenda na mwendo gani. I don't know with what move. Kijana huyu alikuwa anaenda akijificha. This man was going high. Lakini baba but the father alienda mbio akampoke. Running to receive him Akasema, back. And he said, "Usiogope. Don't be afraid." Mvueni nguo alizonazo. Take off his clothes. Mvueni. Take them off. Mvisheni pete kidoleni. And put a ring in your finger. Toeni mwana kondomu mchinje kwa ajili yake. One fat of the lamb. Mchinje fanyeni karamu. Do kwa ajili yake. Do a fist. Baada ya maombi ya siku 40 day pray. Mungu ata fanya karamu juu yako kutakuwa na karamu 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 kwenye ndoa karamu kwenye huduma karamu kwenye utumishi karamu jesus tumaje aseme amina kutoka moyoni amen do 
Weni mavazi alionayo. Take out his clothes. Mvisheni mavazi mapya. Give him new clothes. Litakuja vazi la kitume zaidi ya ulivyokuwa mtume. Litakuja vazi la kiinjilisi zaidi ya ulivyokuwa mwinjilisi. Kuna vazi limeshachafuliwa. Bwana atakuvisha vazi jipya. Bwana atakuvisha vazi jipya. Bwana yuko tayari Tanzania. Bwana yuko tayari Dar es Salaam. Bwana yuko tayari mumreje. Amen. Anasema nirudieni mimi. Nami nitawarudia ninyi. Nirudieni mimi. Nami nitawarudia ninyi. Come back to you.